I'm Carl Moore. I'm an associate professor at the Desert Hill Faculty Management McGill University. Grew up in Toronto, lived in LA and Boston for six years for education, taught at Oxford for five years, 11 years with IBM, been here at McGill for about 15 years where I teach strategy and leadership. Wow. Come on. Well, I probably did it all right, but there's good debt and there's bad debt. Bad debt is something where it's about just having a nice apartment and going to restaurants, things like that, where it's going to just be a real burden for years to come. Good debt is university, buying a house, and I bought one in Toronto. Turned out to be a brilliant investment, bought one here in Montreal as well. So you got to understand there's good debt and bad debt and make sure you focus on the good debt and that's acceptable. Talk to your parents about it and your friends. Bad debt, try to avoid at all costs. Spend less than you make. Now there's once in a while where you can take the good debt on because you're doing a university degree at a top school where it's going to pay off in the future. But if you simply spend less than you make and put a bit of money towards the future, that in the long term, you know, you're young, so in the long term when you're in your 40s and 50s, this will pay off. And just avoid the temptation to live the high life unless you've earned the money to do it. Well, I think when you're younger, it starts with your parents, but then you go on to perhaps aunts and uncles. But then what you want to do is get a good financial advisor who does this for a living. But you recognize their self-interest is that they're making money from you. So you want to get people who are knowledgeable, but not in it making money from you. So perhaps an older, more experienced person that is a financial mentor that's going to give you some sound advice will play off for years. So I've had those through my life, and they've been absolutely brilliant. Well, when you look at it, the millennials, I think, are going to face a tougher life than I did as a boomer. I wish someone had told us it was great in the 80s and 90s, but, you know, no one knew at the time. So I think it's going to be more challenging for my kids who are, uh, you know, at the tail end of millennials. You're going to have multiple careers, multiple companies, perhaps in different cities in the world, but it's going to be something where there's a lot more competition out there. So I think financial literacy is the key to be able to maintain uh, a, a happy life and one where you, you can have a family, you can afford to do that. So I think getting the basics right matter more now for millennials than it did for my generation. <laughs>